Finally, we got a net date. SpaceX has officially announced the new launch date of Starship Flight 6. It's sooner than any of us expected. It is getting so close. So, when exactly will Starship Flight 6 take off? What thrilling developments can we expect from this mission and even the upcoming ones? Let's find out everything in today's episode. SpaceX just released an official update on their website confirming the launch date for Starship's next test flight, November 18th, 2024. There had been a lot of speculation that the launch might be pushed to the last days of November or early December. December. But with this announcement, SpaceX is clearly showing major confidence in their timeline. According to the announcement, the launch window will open for 30 minutes starting at 4 p.m. Central Time. Now here's where it gets really exciting. If Starship launches at 4 p.m., and lands an hour later, it would reach its landing site right at dawn in the target area, around 6 a.m. local time, UTC plus 7. In previous launches, SpaceX typically chose nighttime re-entries and landings. There is a scientific reason behind this. Darkness allows engineers to better observe the plasma phenomena during re-entry. However, this time, SpaceX has determined that it is necessary to observe the spacecraft's condition in daylight. With the lighting conditions for this launch, we space fans will also have a special opportunity to clearly observe the detailed performance of the Starship launch vehicle. Guys, it's going to be spectacular. So, what's in store for this upcoming flight? According to SpaceX, this test flight aims to expand the envelope on ship and booster capabilities, bringing the entire system closer to being ready for real-world missions and full reusability. The biggest highlight? Testing the Raptor engine's ability to relight in space. Specifically, SpaceX will perform an in-space engine burn with one Raptor engine to demonstrate its ability to perform the necessary maneuvers for deorbiting, an essential step for future orbital missions. SpaceX initially planned to conduct this test on Flight 3, but due to challenges with the ship's attitude control, they shifted focus, prioritizing improvements to help Starship survive re-entry. Now, after Starship has repeatedly shown increased strength and resilience against the intense conditions of re-entry and achieved solid landing accuracy, SpaceX feels it's the right time to attempt an in-space engine restart on Flight 6. The engine relight test could be considered the pivotal milestone of this flight, perhaps even the single most crucial objective. If successful, it would represent a monumental leap forward in Starship's development, unlocking new possibilities for future space missions. But that's not all. SpaceX has also announced the flight test will assess new secondary thermal protection materials and will have entire sections of heat shield tiles removed on either side of the ship in locations being studied for catch-enabling hardware on future vehicles. We can see that several heat shield tiles have already been intentionally removed on Ship 31, the Starship set for Flight 6, along the sides where SpaceX envisions mounting future landing hardware. This approach aligns with the chopstick catching arms method successfully used on the booster stage. For Starship, this means developing a specialized solution along both sides of the ship, allowing the robotic arms to glide along without damaging the surrounding heat shield tiles. In this flight, SpaceX will also test out new secondary thermal protection materials on specific areas of the Starship's body. Plus, they're intentionally setting Starship to fly at a higher than usual angle of attack during the final descent. Just so you know, Starship's typical angle of attack sits above 60 degrees, but pushing it even steeper this time will stretch the control limits of its flaps. By actively exposing the spacecraft to more extreme conditions, SpaceX's engineers can gather critical data on the ship's handling and stability. This data will be essential for forecasting the performance of the Starship V2 flaps, which are planned to fly on Flight 7 early next year. In addition to these upgrades on Starship, SpaceX is making key adjustments to the Super Heavy booster as well, drawing on the insights from Flight 5. According to the company, they're focusing on boosting the redundancy of the booster's propulsion system. Alongside this, SpaceX is reinforcing structural durability in certain key areas of the booster, though they haven't specified exactly where these areas are. Where do you think those areas might be? Let me hear your guesses. Another upgrade is the reduced fuel drain time from the booster after it returns, likely aimed at streamlining operations and minimizing risks after each flight. On top of that, engineers have updated the control software and launch landing criteria to improve Super Heavy's performance. Fascinating detail surfaced in a short audio clip that SpaceX CEO Elon Musk posted on October 25th. In it, SpaceX experts revealed that during the last launch, they were just a hair away from canceling the Super Heavy's landing catch, only a second away. The cause? A misconfigured parameter linked to the Raptor engines on the booster. 
The team admitted that during that intense catch attempt, they had used new aborts and commit criteria, which hadn't been fully tested before launch. But post-flight, they thoroughly analyzed the data and pinpointed key areas for improvement. If the current schedule holds, the upcoming flight will set a new record for turnaround time between Starship Char Super Heavy test flights just over five weeks. SpaceX is genuinely stepping up its game, moving toward the rapid launch cadence they've always promised. We're at an incredibly exciting moment in the Starship project's history. The upcoming flight will mark the final journey for the V1 generation of Starship prototypes. Test Flight 7 will bring us the debut of the first Starship Phi-2, packed with significant hardware upgrades. The profile for IFT-7 will build on the rich data gathered from the upcoming Flight 6. We've already seen the arrival of S-33, the V-2 prototype designated for the seventh flight, which has even gone through cryogenic testing. However, it's worth noting that we still haven't seen much sign of a V-2 booster. Instead, B-14, a V-1 booster prototype, is nearing completion. So it's likely that Test Flight 7 might be a unique pairing of a V-1 booster B-14 and a V-2 Starship S-33. However, there is still a chance that SpaceX will skip B-14. Booster 15 has been fully stacked. In fact, it will still need so much more time to be completed and undergo testing. But if SpaceX is fast enough, it might be ready just in time for Flight 7. So, has Starship V-2 been equipped with Raptor 3 yet? This is a very interesting question. Although we have seen Raptor 3 in the flesh, it seems that it is not yet ready for test flights. SpaceX has been conducting rigorous tests to understand this engine fully. Recently, they even deliberately blew up a Raptor 3 on the test stand, likely to find its limits. Here's my theory. It seems they will focus on verifying the reliability of the V-2 ship configuration before integrating the Raptor 3 engine. This means that the seventh flight could still run on the Raptor 2 engine, or perhaps an improved version of Raptor 2, a hybrid variant between Raptor 2 and Raptor 3. Personally, this seems like a smart approach from both technical and risk management perspectives. By separating the testing of the new structure from the new engine, SpaceX can accurately assess the performance of each component and minimize unknown variables in the development process. What do you think? Or do you have another theory? Share your insights below. While the Starship program is making remarkable progress, SpaceX is also showcasing its excellence with the Falcon rocket line. This achievement was demonstrated by the successful Commercial Resupply Services 31 CRS-31 mission, launched from Launch Complex 39A, LC-39A, just this past Monday night. This mission marks a historic milestone for the Falcon program. It was the 400th launch of the Falcon series. This impressive figure includes 389 Falcon 9 flights and 11 Falcon Heavy flights. CRS-31 also stands as the 104th Falcon 9 launch of 2024 alone, an astounding frequency of launches. In fact, with the remaining time in 2024, SpaceX may not achieve their initial ambitious goal of 144 Falcon launches this year, UST as Kiko Donchev, SpaceX's Vice President of Launch, shared, Congrats to the SpaceX team on our 400th Falcon launch. However, what they have accomplished is still incredibly impressive. After all, 2024 has truly been a year of ups and downs for SpaceX, as they have faced many legal, technical, and weather-related challenges. Keep it up, SpaceX.